For my key players, I have freshman quarterback Alex Hornibrook for the Badgers. Hornibrook has 466 yards and a completion percentage of 55.9%. While his numbers are not really flashy, he does have four touchdowns, which is twice as much as senior quarterback Bart Houston has. Bart Houston has two less picks than Alex. Alex, is, uh, when it comes down to making plays, he gives the ball away way too much. I think Bart should start this game. Well, Bart does not have the accuracy that Alex does. Uh, for Wisconsin to pull off this upset, Alex will have to demonstrate his great action and not force the ball like he did against Michigan. Next up, we got senior cornerback Soldier and Shelton. This guy's been starting for the Badgers all four years of his college career. He's got 14 tackles and one interception so far this year. Let's check out some of his highlights. As you can see here, he gets a really good leaping interception against uh, UMass, and this is his freshman year. That year, he had four interceptions. And here he plays the wide receiver perfectly to swat the ball away. Next up, we got junior tight end Troy Fumagalli, who has been one of Alex's favorite targets this year. And lastly, outside linebacker TJ Watt, younger brother of JJ Watt. If the Badgers are going to win this game, I think TJ will have a big game. And now for the Buckeyes, we got Heisman contender quarterback JT Barrett, who is known for his dual threat of either running or passing. He's got 90, 981 yards and 15 touchdowns throwing the ball with 342 yards and four touchdowns running the ball. Let's check out some of his highlights. Right here you can see his great running ability. Next for the Buckeyes, we got Curtis Samuel, who plays both wide receiver and running back. I see him giving a lot of trouble for the Wisconsin defense. Also, we have defensive end Tyquan Lewis, who has 13 tackles, two forced fumbles, and two sacks on the year. It will be interesting to see how he does versus the talented Wisconsin offensive line. And last, we have linebacker Raquan McMillan, who I can see disrupting the Wisconsin run game. Okay, now let's see what our experts have to say about the game. First off is our expert, Mr. Dahl. It's going to be a close game. I'm a homer because I always pick the teams that I like, so i got to pick the Badgers, but it's going to be close. I think it's only like a field goal, and I'm probably going to say uh, it's going to be a low scoring game. Defense-wise, I'm going to go 17-14. Make sure you watch college game day to see Coach Corso's pick you. He's probably going to pick Brutus. He's telling you he's going to pick Brutus ahead, so but go Badgers. Did you see any key players in this game? Um, you know, Horny Burke's gonna have to play well. He's not gonna he's gonna have to make sure that he doesn't make those force throws. Michigan kind of forces things that I mean they're a good team. Um, and special teams. The last time the Badgers Ohio State was ranked high like this, you've probably seen it this week, David Gilroy took the opening kickback, ninety plus yards for a touchdown. That type of play is like they're gonna have to you know strong special teams. We know the defense is good, the offense can hold its own, but special teams is good. Thank you, Mr. Yep, thanks. That was Mr. Dahl's pick. He picked the Badgers to win by three. And next pick, we have Mr. Sales. Mr. Sales. <laughs> what was he doing? He's not even one. Big game this Saturday. 
four and one Wisconsin Badgers versus the five and zero Ohio State Buckeyes at Canberra Stadium. What are your thoughts? My thoughts. Busy at work here. I'm trying to log in. Can't log in. Anyway, huge game the Big Ten. Not only playoff implications, Big Ten championship implications. Badgers probably with a couple arguments, we would have the toughest schedule in college football this year. Um, still ranked number eight, Ohio State number two. Last week, I caught a lot of the Ohio State Indiana game, and they had like 80, 80 yards passing through the air. I cannot throw the ball. Who's their quarterback, J.T. Barrett? J.T. Is, is he a key player? Mm -hmm. I knew that. I'm good. I think he's going to have a big day against uh, that Badger defense, though, unfortunately. I don't know if they do a nice job on the defensive side of the ball. The Badgers are talking about and using a quarterback spy. I don't think they have a player that can do that well. So, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to say Ohio State 24, Wisconsin Badgers 14. Thank you, Mr. Sales. There's Mr. Sales, your extra pick, picking the Badger or the Ohio State to beat the Badgers by 10. And your next extra pick is Mr. Schuler. And we are here with our expert, Mr. Schuler. We have a big game on Saturday. Ohio State Buckeyes, 5-0 versus the 4-1 Wisconsin Badgers at Cape Brown Stadium. What are your thoughts on the game? Um, I think that this is a big game for the Badgers, of course. Uh, they're really disappointing when they want to kill off against Michigan. Uh, but I think that the Badgers are going to pull this one out. I think being at home is going to be the difference here. I think Cornerbrook's going to kind of turn around and they can settle. He's playing a big game now. I'm just at one of the big game for the Badgers. So I think they're going to win. I think the final score is going to be 24 to, let's say, 17. Um, and I think it's going to be a uh, game, but a definite victory for the Badgers. And what do you think is going to be a key player for the Badgers? Um, I think Waterbrook is. I think that the team is going to go. I think the defense is good. Uh, they've had injuries, but I think that if he can get it right, the team's going to be right. So it's an all different number. Thank you, Mr. Schuler. There's Mr. Shoes, extra pick, picking the Badgers to win by uh, seven. And lastly, your sort of expert pick from Jorona and then Adam. We are here with our experts, Adam Rockway and Joel Landowski. We got a big game on Saturday, 5 0 Ohio State Buckeyes versus the 4 1 Wisconsin Badgers. What are your thoughts on the game? Uh, I'm going to go with the Badgers. I think they'll win 28 14. Right, I'm going to go with uh, Ohio State. I think I was has to drop that up. Adding on the scoreboard. I think the final score is 72 0. I think Braxton Miller's going to go off. 500 rushing yards, two touchdowns. Okay, thank you guys. Braxton Miller is the play. No, he doesn't. Whatever. <laughs> There's your expert pick from Jonah Landowski. Predicting Braxton Miller to go off this week. And now, now on our picks. Uh, I'm Picking Ohio State to pick the win 27 to 16 this week. Yeah, I pick Wisconsin to get the dub 49 24 with Corey Brook throwing seven touchdowns. You have the Buckeyes only scoring 24 points. They scored an average of 53 points for their through their first five games. Also, the Buckeyes defense has only allowed a season high of 24 points all year. The Buckeyes offense isn't going anywhere versus the stellar Wisconsin defense. Look who Wisconsin has been LSU and Michigan State, where defense has stopped their offenses. Also, they're coming off a loss to Michigan, so they'll be hungry to prove themselves versus Ohio State. All right, we'll just have to see a game there. Thank you for tuning into this week's edition of Weekly Picks. I'm Jason Patel, and this is Patrick Shea, and we're signing off.